All right, um, it's still Monday, and I'm taking another video, so this will go up on Tuesday. Um, so I'm going to open up a bunch of these boxes through here. I've kind of gone through them. Um, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to open these and these, these two big ones, and then a bunch of these small ones down through here. And I think most of this is just going to be bulk Lego. I know there's going to be other things throughout here, like I'm pretty sure this small box is not a bulk Lego purchase. But I'm going to go through a bunch of these, and I'm going to open them up, and then once they're open, physically open, I'm going to come back to the video, and we'll look through the boxes, and then I will probably shut the video off and, you know, deal with all the stuff. So that's what's going to happen, and I'll be back in a couple for you to see what's in these boxes. Okay? And I've gone through and opened them. Uh, there are 15 boxes. Um, there's eight of these real small ones. And then there's at least four real big ones. Another big one over here in the back that's a tall one. And then a couple of medium-sized ones. So we're going to start looking through and see what we got. Now this one says it's one of two. And I'm pretty sure I saw one down there is two of two. <clears throat> I see it down there. So we're not going to open those right next to each other. But we'll see what we have anyway. Look that, we got some puff pack and my packing slip. And yep, it is just layers of non-Lego piece, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe it is a Lego. It says something there on the side of the dish, and I can't quite read it from... My eyesight is not what it used to be. I think, actually, this is a Lego piece. It's a dish of a style that I've not seen before with this Chinese dragon on it. I'm actually going to pull my glasses out of my pocket and get a better look at this, perhaps. Yeah, it does in fact say the Lego group there. I don't know if this camera will pick up on it, but there it is. I can see it barely. So there, right on the top, it's a pretty nifty looking piece. One that I have not seen before, either in the style or the design. I see there's a uh, trident here. I see there's all sorts of plate pieces in here. This one's pretty dusty. But yeah, all sorts of stuff in here. This will be fun to go through. It'll all be fun to go through. Here's another printed piece. Uh, probably a Star Wars set, but who knows? Could be almost anything. Oh, yeah, all sorts of up. Oh, now there's a there's a piece that has seen better days. Uh, yep, that's going to go into the uh, the pile of broken and really dirty pieces to deal with. Like maybe they were trying to get a right angle out of it, and they almost succeeded. Anyway, so that's the first box. This could take a while at this pace, so we'll see what we come up with. Ah, here is the second one. Oh, well, look at that. He's trying to sneak its way out there, a couple of them. And this actually, this piece is a good example. It's a good example of a piece that I'm not sure is Lego. Um, I've never seen it say Lego on this. I, I generally put these in the I'm not sure container. I don't think they are, but they might be. But anyway, more random pieces here. Here's a little circular kind of piece with the plate with the hole in the middle. There's uh, something with a sticker on it that looks non-Lego. Yeah, that's not Lego. Neither of those. Oh, look at that. There's a sail. And it is a Lego piece. So that's kind of a cool one. Might even be one of the reasons I bid on the auction. Who knows? And it's to get that sail. And or under other pieces that were in with it. There's some bionicle type pieces it looks like. Probably for a recycling truck. Maybe for a city theme would be my guess. So yeah, there's going to be fun stuff through here. Right there on the top, we see the sail on that one. So that's a good one. Here's the, the one that was two of two that was with the first one that I opened. Let's see what we got in here. Some more bubble at the top a little bit. All right. All sorts of different stuff in here. We've got this odd color here this it's like a teal and it's really dirty so that'll go in the clean pile there's some technic pieces that look like maybe a wing to a plane or something like that 
here's some non-Lego. I can tell just by the color. Uh, and then this piece doesn't look like it's like raised a little. It's got a little bit of a, a raised bit to it. But yeah. Yep, they're leading more credence to the fact that there's a plane in there. We got the plane piece. Cockpit piece, rather. Actually, two of them. <laughs> slightly different. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's got an extra piece on it. Yep, these are actually slightly different cockpits. The windows aren't quite the same. There's more studs on the left one than the right one. This one has some sticker on it, too. So, yeah. I mean, you can see how they have kind of similar design, but then they went and changed it. So, I mean, one is probably an older or a newer design than the other. More of these types of pieces here are kind of like panels. All one piece type thing. Tire. Just all sorts of neat stuff in here. So again, another one to go through. Here's fourth one. We half done went through the small ones. This one is a little more empty, but here, look at this. We <laughs> They've used a, <laughs> a clothespin to hold this bag shut. I, I have a feeling the bag is open. And because the bag's open and like I see little pieces and also larger pieces in it, this was not how Lego would have shipped these pieces. Like a lot of these small pieces might have been in the same bag, but they would not have been in the same bag as this one by four brick or this one by one tall brick that's probably four or five tall. Those would not have been in this bag. So these, while they might be new pieces never used, that they'll be considered used. Um, I, unless it's sealed, I'm, I'm not going to consider it new. Here's a really nice shape, one by two bricks, transparent, clear. Now, the one thing I notice with these is sometimes, even brand new, they'll look really nice like this, or they'll be kind of a little cloudy. And uh, it's unfortunate, but it does happen. Here's a piece that somebody has written on, a little smiley face. It is, in fact, a Lego piece that I'll go in the needing cleaning, or will I even ever bother to clean it? There's a non-Lego piece. Some connects in here. And some, here's a, uh, uh, maybe a Scrooge McDuck figure of some sort. That's kind of interesting. Got some information on that. Let's see. Okay, it's hard for me to read it through the phone. Disney China. I can't quite make out what it says over here. But anyway, just more interesting stuff. Large plate. This is a non-Lego large plate. There's a large Lego wheel. So yeah, more neat stuff to look through. That's what it all comes down to. Neat stuff to look through. Alright, now we're going to get the fifth one. Now this one, <laughs> this box arrived kind of damaged. But it's just loose pieces, so I wasn't too worried about it. Or at least I'm assuming. Oh, another piece trying to escape. All right, so here's a non-Lego. No, no, I take it back. That is a Lego large, thick base plate. A Lego flag with a small little boat attached. That's a cute printed piece. I've seen that before, I think. Um, probably a boat hull of some sort with a porthole. Some burp, uh, some ship or something, the main building of it. It's another kind of thing with probably something somebody made, because I, I don't know, maybe there's a, a set that has a propeller on one end like that. Who knows? Don't know what it would be. Some small treads over here. These are kind of neat. Another piece of some printing on it. And it actually is printing on it. Look, it's a sticker. How about that? So, yeah. Another box of some stuff to go through. Let's close this other one up over here. Whoa. All right. Next one. Well, got a packing slip, put that aside. And it looks like lots and lots of random pieces. That's kind of neat how it's already together. 
and they've got like the wooden thing for like a, you can make a tree maybe and these are two leaves coming off the tree with a couple of flames maybe the tree is on fire not really sure what's going on here that's kind of different I definitely don't know what that is that's I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or if somebody put a bunch of those size in there it's kind of different some non lego piece yep could tell from the underside didn't look right there's another little odd printed piece that I don't think I've seen before along with some green cherry type things bionicle mask I believe with the thing in the back and of course I have to go reference that video that Just Bricks did to get those pieces apart that was just brilliant long one by something brick all sorts of goodies in this one it looks like a lot more general pieces than some of the other boxes I've opened. Although there is definitely some specialized pieces. Another bionicle weapon type thing. Energy effects or something. Alright, oh, and this one was a printed piece with a kid's smiley face on it. Alright, down to the second last one of these. Another packing slip. All right, so another plant piece. 77KOJN. It's a sticker on a long one by something brick. So that may be an actual Lego sticker. And usually you can look that up on Bricklink and you'll find out what it's from. Another little energy effect. That's a different style than I remember having seen. I'll have to double check to make sure that's Lego. Got over here is uh, got a motorcycle here. That's kind of cool. All right. This looks like it was probably from a set. It looks kind of neat the way it's designed there. I like the kind of the up and down roof kind of idea. That's kind of neat. And then another motorcycle right here. How about that? Two motorcycles right on the top of the same container. Plate with some tile on it. Well, brown ingot there. That's kind of neat. Another one of these of uh, the energy effect, and it's also got the, the little. Well, it's got a one by one round with a hole in it, but then below that, it's got one of these guys, which has got like the the bar on it that the figures can hold on to. So that's kind of a neat thing too. There's a piece I don't remember having seen before. Don't know if that's Lego or not. It feels like it could be. I mean, by feel test. But I'm not seeing it say Lego, but it might say something there on the side. Phone is not really coming in close. Focus phone. Focus. Don't know. We'll have to look into that later. A couple of these with some printing on them. That's kind of neat. What does that say? Jarvis. Ah, so this is a Iron Man related set. This came from it. That's a sticker on there. It feels like. Yep, that's a sticker. It's also not 100% straight on there, but it's pretty good. So yeah, there's some... Uh, transparent uh, orange chain that's kind of neat so more stuff to go through as always last of the small boxes another packing slip and we got a skateboard here which has got uh, Somebody's attached some rope pieces to it. Now that's kind of interesting. I don't know what they were up to with that or if that was supposed to be done for a set somewhere. Round teal brick. That might have come from a friend's amusement park kind of thing, perhaps. Another bionicle-ish weapon thing. Is this actually a Lego? Don't know. We'll have to look into that. I'm not seeing anywhere it says Lego, so I'm dubious on that one. Not as much flashy stuff in this one, but, you know, more pieces. I mean, 
not a problem. Large plate there. Another motorcycle. Boy, that's kind of neat. Get some hair in there. So, we've got three motorcycles and a couple of these small boxes right on top. All right. We're going to close this one. This is another piece that I kind of thought was neat that I liked. It's a newer, this A plate type piece. Uh, creating an angle between uh, the studs, which I thought was really cool. All right. Oh, it's a piece of paper. I thought it was something interesting. Nope, not this one. All right, so next I'm going to go to one of the medium boxes right here. Now, we're getting into some boxes now that might actually not be loose Lego. It could be other things. Like, ah, here we go. Here's some different things. Okay, this is not a loose Lego box, or not completely. Let me take a look at this packing slip. Okay, so it was one auction, but it had this stuff in it. And I'm not really sure. Did they put it in some sort of a strange bag? We'll have to look at that. Um, I've got a couple of sets here. Uh, 6866 Wolverine Chopper Showdown. I don't remember if this is new and sealed, though. So we're going to go ahead and open this right now. There's another set back there. It looks like it's probably a Disney set. This may be taking longer than I really want to here. There we go. We got it. Oh, starting to at least. Come on. All right, so, superhero, mm, there's tape here, there's a little hole, no, there's tapes, nope, it is not sealed, but they've got some packing material inside of it, and there's pieces floating around in there, so I'm not going to dig any further into that, so whether or not it has the figures or not remains to be seen, but that's what that set is, and then the Disney one is the... Cinderella's carriage ride and this is also not sealed and they've got some packing material in there so we've got the boxes for those and then it also had this container which is a unikitty container and of course this really interesting packing material that they used um, and there's stuff in here so I'm going to try to get this open quickly again they've got a lot of tape on this to hold it closed it seems See if I can find the tape and get it off. There's clear tape on a clear bubble wrap. It's sometimes hard to see where it is. Follow the seam and see where it doesn't open. Yeah, we pulled some of the bubble with that one. That's all right. Bubble wrap that'll be nice. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, more bubble wrap to protect things. That's good. Now look at that. So now this, that's a sealed bag. So that's going to be new pieces in there. That's not a sealed bag, so that won't be new pieces. This doesn't even look like Lego to me, so it could probably just stay in that bag. Some instructions down in here. Unikitty uh, 41555. One, two, three. So it's got three instruction books for that set. Shopkins Fashion Boutique. Yeah, that's not going to be Lego. A friend's 41364 set instructions. That's kind of cool. Another Ziploc bag down here with some stuff in it. Maybe these were advent calendar builds, perhaps. Don't know. I'll have to go through all this at some point in the future. I like these containers too, so if they're you know cheap enough, I'll get stuff with the container. And let's look at this other bag that came too. Let's see what we got here. Certainly not how I was expecting it, but you know I don't remember the specifics of all these auctions. Um, some of this stuff is actually more recent. 
because the stuff in this room is hasn't been moved to the hallway so it's stuff that's come in slightly more recently than other things and a couple of these that i'll open later on actually showed up today so i mean <laughs> i'm catching up on the backlog but i'm not really doing it from the oldest to the newest did they send no they didn't send it all the way around It's like a reusable shopping bag okay and there's stuff inside so we got this bag here with minifigs which well, there may be a mix of lego and non-lego in here i don't know i'll we'll have to look but that's kind of cool there's one it's still yeah there's somebody still in their plastic from something or other that's kind of cool and i got a poly bag oh look it's a galador poly bag gorm it's uh, from McDonald's. Yep, McDonald's Gorm Lego, Lego Galador poly bag. Another bag with some portion of a set in it. That's kind of cool. I'm going to guess this is just another bag with loose pieces. Oh, and a domino. <laughs> just random loose pieces in this little flimsy bag. And then just more loose pieces inside here. It looks like mostly Friends stuff. Look at that. They used several of those A pieces, four of them, to make a half circle. Well, that's pretty interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, looks like there's another instruction book down here. Not in great shape because it's in the bottom of this bag. Actually, I don't want to say really bad shape, but it's pretty bad. It looks to me like maybe we're missing pages, too. Maybe it's just folded wrong. Hard to tell. Yeah, I'm going to err on the side that's missing the cover page, probably. Maybe it's still in there. I don't see anything else paper in here, though. So, yeah, we're going to put this stuff back in here. It was all one lot, so it was really a random mix of stuff that they stuck in here. There's, you know, a sealed Lego bag, the Galador poly bag, bag of some figures here, a couple of boxes that have stuff in them that may or may not be complete, and then this white thing with the other stuff. I'm going to put this instruction book in here because there's other ones are in there too. And then we're going to we're going to actually stop the video. And we'll come back and I'll splice it in together because I need to clean up a little bit because this one had a lot of stray bits in it. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We did a little bit of tidying. I'm going to come over here and take care of this other medium-sized box first. We're gonna, I'll move it. Ugh, I'm also trying to make use of some of the natural light coming in from outside before the sun goes down. So we'll see how well this all works. All right, so here we got some instructions and some pieces. Here's a bag that has... <laughs> leftover from something a ninjago set how about that two little pieces in there okay what do we got here well we lost a piece uh, all right so this is some sort of a long dragon or snake looking thing that's kind of cool that's kind of cool too Here's a city instruction book. It's an older one. It's only got four digits. 8401 with the join a Lego club card thing. Let's see what kind of instructions we got here. We got uh, Ninjago 9444, book one. 9444, book two. If there was only two books, we got them. Here's a thick one. Wow. That's a book. Lego Creator 31069, three and one. I wonder if all three sets of instructions are in this book. Because, wow, that's that's a big book. A 4996-2-1 and dash 3. So this one has three different books for the sets you can build for that. Alien Conquest 7052. That's pretty cool. Well, look at that. Somebody's done a lot of tile work on this base plate. That's that's really intricate there with all those 
Uh, what do we got here? A bag with some more instruction books and some Connect stuff. 7206. Looks like a city set. There's instruction book one. Uh, don't really feel like opening the Ziploc at the moment. What do we got here? Alien Abduction Ship Extras. Hmm, so now, would I consider these new or not? Because somebody's labeled them as the extras. But were they used at any point? I don't know. But, like, got all these little bags of pieces here. Look, there's a figure. That's good to see. And here's another little guy over here. It looks like it's probably one of the Space Police or Alien Conquest sets or something like that. A little buggy. Space buggy. Another little thing here. What do we got here? Ninjago. Something, something. But, oh, it's uh, one of the snake guys. That's pretty cool. Now here, we got a couple of minifigures in here, and then this this minifigure is not Lego. That's a Mega Bloks guy. And then there's like this guy, he looks like he's a Sasquatch or Yeti or something like that. Plus a brick separator and a staircase and, you know, random stuff. More random stuff inside a little box thing. Another loose instruction, 7325, Pharaoh's Quest. That's an older one. Uh, do we have a date on this? 2011. Wow, that's much more recent than I thought. Huh. I guess they had Pharaoh's Quest stuff more recently than I thought. And then there's, uh, oh, look at this. It's like a, a tin or a cookie cutter or something, perhaps. And then another ba a bag of more pieces down there. Here's another thing. Oh, this is probably from that Pharaoh set. Let's see if we can actually identify that. Yep. That pretty much looks like the uh, the mummy there. There's the top of the, with the scarab on it. Yeah, so there's some parts from that particular set. So it's nice to know that stuff is still kind of with it. And look at this. A sealed Lego bag. Another good find. Another bag over here with some parts. It's got smaller bags in it as well. There's an Arctic thing. Oh, it's just... oh, it's the one on skis. That's really cool. I remember wanting to get these. And so now I at least got this one. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and the side opens up. Wow, that's really neat. And another sealed lego bag so yeah this is a nice box i like this i like it a lot and there's probably more goodies down here that i'm not getting too easily I like this is probably that ufo set yeah yeah let's go take a look at the instruction here so there we go there is a part to that set right there so you know we've got instructions and pieces kind of milling about and staying together all this time so that's always a bonus so we're just going to put these instructions back in and close this box up but this is a good box i'm happy with it all right so now we're going to go to these four big ones and we're going to do the tall one last because this tall one might be some different stuff i don't know so uh, we got another packing slip here a bunch of bubble wrap at the top a bunch of bubble wrap at the top and right there at the very top, a non-Lego base plate with a Lego, what it seems to be a Lego uh, chest. Yeah, that's a Lego chest. But then we've got this little bit, which is from, oh gosh, maybe a Mars mission set. Kind of looks like it could be that kind of stuff. Another non-Lego plate. We've got some instruction type stuff. What do we got here? Eh. 6094 instructions. Well, that's pretty cool. When's that from? Uh, let's see. 2000. Well, that's an older set. That's nice to see. Another ill folded instruction book. I'm not going to mess with that right now. There's a Ziploc bag with some stuff in it. It's got at least one SpongeBob set of instructions in there, it looks like. Maybe more. Another bag here with just some random pieces in it that don't necessarily seem like they should go together or needed to stay together. There's more instructions on the side over here. 
Ah, uh, here's another old one, 6078. It's a castle set, and this is from 1995. So it's 26 years old. That's a good little find, and little small Lego pieces falling out of it. That's funny. I'm just going to pull a couple more of these instructions to see what we've got over here. Eh. Uh. Well, there's a piece of something. All right, so this one is 6279. It's a pirate set. And the date on this is 1995 as well. And here is another larger castle type set. There we go. They, uh, this is... 6098-6091. That's a large castle. And what's the date on this one? This one is 2000. So we got, you know, a smattering of older stuff here. 6334. That looks like just kind of a city type set. And this is from 96. So it looks like this is probably, the instructions are 96 to 2000. Although there was, I think, a 2011 that I saw in here. Um, got a burp piece, a complicated tread system. That's kind of cool. That still works. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. It almost looks like a burger mobile or something like that. You get your patty and your lettuce and there's some uh, mustard in there and there's ketchup. And yeah, I don't know. That's kind of strange. That I would think of that too is probably kind of strange. Here's a Minifigure guy who's not Lego. He's got this stupid, stupid head. These hands that I will say that kind of that they join a little bit. There's a little bit of uh, bending here at the uh, shoulder, but they don't really they don't really work quite as well in my opinion. Just a quick check there. Another burp piece, printed piece there, or no, or is that a sticker? No, that's a sticker, but that's still kind of cool. Lots more stuff to go through. Oh, and then just in case, you know, I needed to make, make popsicles, I got another popsicle stick here. So, yeah. Stuff. There's a... Looks to be an older gray piece, but I could be wrong on that. There's a nice uh, silver grill on that piece. That's kind of neat. And uh, a Duplo Castle figure, it looks like. Well, that's pretty neat. All right. We're going to close this box up and move on to the next one because we're just spending time looking. I could open up the entire box and, you know, dump it out somewhere and it would just take forever. This is just kind of a cursory look on these, really. Uh, we'll go to this one here and we'll stay standing up. All right. So we got our packing slip. We'll put that over here. More of this strange cardboard packing actually quite a lot of it i'll have to make sure that there's no lego in here because i already hear small pieces uh escaping the cardboard well, what do we got in here what is this that's a mask wow is that actually a lego it looks like it probably is I can't be sure yet. I don't see where it says Lego anywhere, but let me put my glasses on again. That might help. My glasses are really for close up and reading and that sort of thing. So making these videos, I don't really need them. But when I'm trying to find something on a piece, perhaps I would need it. There's a number there 63393. So perhaps it's a brick link number. I don't know. Say anything in behind any of that that I just pulled off? Oh, there's something up at the very top. Hang on. Come on. Well, I don't know. I'm going to guess that it's a Lego. Yeah, there. It is. I can see it now in, in changing the angle of the light. The Lego group. 2009, perhaps four. 
Anyway, so that's a human mask. That's kind of cool. Looks like a sealed Lego bag. That's always nice. We've got uh, this bolt haul right here. And it looks like another one here that is pretty big. I've never seen one like this on Lego, so I'm going to guess this one may not be Lego. Yeah. Hasbro. So that's some sort of a base to some sort of a Hasbro toy or something along those lines. This is also not Lego, but that's all right. You know, we're going to have that stuff in here. I see some instruction down there. We're going to dig that out and take a look, see what we got here. Uh, 10666 is the Junior's construction set. Not a big deal. More sealed bags. Those are always nice. Oh, and this one has uh, a seal bag inside of it, plus like a cape or a um, string or something like that in there. Two of them, as a matter of fact. 6062855, So they're different, whatever those two pieces are. I wish they would identify those on BrickLink by those numbers. I don't think they do. I could be wrong. There's a bag of some friend stuff along with some tents, it looks like. A large motorcycle chassis. An open bag that can just be tossed. Another bag of some small things in there. So yeah, this is an interesting box. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Brick separator, just in case you needed another one. Although I did see somebody recently say they somebody had bought all their brick separators, and it looked like there was like 50 of them. And it looked like they got 19 cents a piece. And I could be wrong in remember what I'm remembering, but that sounds pretty good to me. All right, so now we're going to move this over on top of this other box. All right, so I don't have to lean down so far to put it on the floor. I got another large box here. This one has paper at the top. A slip there. This is actually from eBay. Oh, yes. I think I know what this is. Yep. So this is, uh, should be 30 pounds of loose brick in here. Another sealed Lego bag with some really cool looking pieces in here. They've got these, like, Half dome world map pieces. That's pretty cool. I bet you that, that set can be figured out pretty easily from that piece. But all sorts of other pieces in here, of course. There's a stickered piece. They, can, they put two, three of these flag pieces together to make it look like one big piece. I, I had never seen that idea before. I really like that. That's kind of cool. So you've got three different pieces. Ah, what else do we have in here? Something partially built. Another sealed bag over here. Lots of brown in that one. Plus it looks like a couple of purple mini figureheads. Castle wall section with a sticker that's poorly placed on it. These are probably not Lego. I could be wrong. No, they, they appear to be Lego. That's really interesting. They've, they've done some interesting work with that, that's for sure. There's another piece of it right there, too. I wonder... goes right there, perhaps? I don't know. All right. Uh, another couple of sealed bags, and these are all just these transparent blue dots. Now, did these come from one of the art sets, perhaps? I've not opened one, so I don't know what the bags in them look like. So maybe these came from the art sets. Uh, it also maybe came from the ship in the bottle set, uh, where they had a bunch of these for the water at the bottom. Here's some kind of smoky, colored, transparent, clear uh, garage door pieces. There's another printed piece. It's like from one of the Pharaoh sets or something like that. Actually, nope, that's a sticker. I take that back. So yeah, all sorts of stuff. There's a map piece on there. So yeah, lots of stuff in this set, this box. 
a little Technic something or other to put together. So happy with this so far. I mean, the unopened Lego bags are particularly good. Ah, I'm going to have a whole box full of those at some point. All right. Another, this is the last big box before I get to the big tall box. Ah, what do we got here? So we got, now this is interesting. I did not realize this. I guess they make this kind of packing by putting regular cardboard through a machine because obviously that's for a crock pot or something. And yeah, and I already hear pieces hitting the floor so that we're really going to have to be careful of these things to make sure that nothing is stuck in them because these boxes get shifted and turned and stuff in shipping all the time. Oh, look at this. We got a bunch of Duplo stuff here at the top. There's a police vehicle. There's a dump truck or something along those lines. There's a plane. Another truck of sorts. A base to something that's pretty wide. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like the largest window frame I've ever seen. And then we got minifigure parts too. There's a headless person, a Harry Potter-esque castle top, there's a dog, that's cool, uh, there's a windscreen for a Duplo set, that's probably not like, oh, it looks like it's probably Matchbox cars with the little tab thing that goes into the track, there's another one of those things, is that a refrigerator perhaps, I don't know, Here's a more normal sized Lego stuff. Well, this is kind of cool. These things slide in there. That's kind of cool. Don't really know what this is from. Maybe somebody built it themselves, but it kind of looks like it's from something. Another little motorcycle. Boy, I tell you, it's like the day of motorcycles. Here is a, uh, eh. well, there was a snow trooper mask. I lost track of it, but oh, look at this. There's a horse with barding. That's pretty cool. It's even got the unikitty horn type thing there. Uh, that's one of the Speed Champion sets. I remember because I put this together myself. I have a copy of that. Um, there's another. Oh, look, it's the Toys R Us truck. Well, that's really neat. And I see a minifigure hand in there. I think the driver is in there. There's a, there's a set of legs. I don't think they're his legs. There is a bear, which that could be Lego too. And here is the driver. Oh, well, I got his hair. I don't really want his hair. Hopefully the mini pig to come out. Well, come on. And he's got his hands up. These are kind of in the way. Come on. Oh, the door opens. Well, that might help. There we go. Put that down for a sec. Give him his hair back before I show him off. And there he is. He's got a flannel shirt on. That's kind of cool. I don't know if he actually is supposed to go with the set, but I'm going to stick him back in there in case he is supposed to go with the set. Then he's already right there. Ah, an old, old figure. One of the early Duplo ones, I believe. Some sort of a bag here. Oh, what do we got? Superheroes. Do we have a set number anywhere? That's probably the comic. Oh, here we go. 76109. The Guardians of the Galaxy set, and perhaps a good chunk of it's in there. In base plate. So, yeah. All sorts of interesting stuff in this one. Another bag. Let's take a look at this. Just some... It's a sealed bag, it looks like, and it's just some larger base plate type stuff. That's that's different. That's definitely different. I don't know that I've seen a bag quite that big, but hey, it does say Lego Group right there. Um, so yeah, another sealed bag. Another Duplo figure down here. Bob the Builder, I believe, by name. So we're going to close this box up, and then we just have the one box left, which is that tall one. Put these aside. This is going to be one of my longer videos in a while, so hopefully that's not a big problem. Ugh. I'm sure people will get bored at some point and shut it off. Get some bubble wrap at the top. 
more bubble wrap. Oh, okay. Yeah, now we're talking. They did a great job in packing these up. Come on. Get that out, get that out. It explains why the box is so tall. All right, anything else in here? Nope. All right. All right, so we've got a red and either a yellow or a light yellow two by four large storage brick. These are the Copenhagen ones, room Copenhagen ones, I believe. This one is empty. I think the other one has something in it because I heard stuff moving around. I could be wrong. But I thought I heard stuff moving around. Oh yeah, there's stuff in there, all right. Oh yeah, full of stuff. So yeah, there's a part of a minifigure. There's a dimensions disc. It's one of the plain ones. So yeah, all sorts of stuff. There's non-Lego in here too. Equal opportunity. Hey, look, an Ace of Diamonds playing card. Boy, I tell you, what luck I have. That's my Ace in the hole. There's a plastic rock that squishes. There's a second one, so I've got a couple of rocks that squish. And this one, actually, I will also say there's a bit of an odor coming out of this box, so it's probably... You know, it's good that I'll be washing all this stuff. I also don't see anything that's sealed bags. And that's okay. There's just a sheep. Probably from one of the friend sets. And I thought I saw a minifigure. There's a uh, minifigure base for like a uh, uh, mermaid type idea. I thought I saw like a Star Wars looking guy down here somewhere too. But, you know, I'm move your hand and boom stuff is missing and it's gone to a different place and it's like whoop can't find it and there's a guy that's just got like a badge this is some of a police or sheriff's officer probably mm -hmm. looks like a tattoo for a cat in a hat well there you go i just had a piece pop and fly out too so yeah um, all sorts of stuff going on. I'll have to find that piece. And that's all I'm going to do for right now. I feel like that's a lot. And maybe I'll do another one of these videos today. But it won't go up the same day. This will go up Tuesday. And then anything else I do will be Wednesday or further. Thank you very much for watching. And, and for everybody who subscribed, I appreciate it. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you.